This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Yo, what's up guys, Sam here, and wow, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be straight up with each of you. This is a big update for the iPhone this year, iOS 14, not necessarily in the amount of new features, but in the degree that each feature pushes something that was already there, like the home screen. It's a totally different vibe. Not only is there picture-in-picture -picture video, which we'll jump into in just a little bit, there's also a brand new app library, so a list view for all of your apps. You no longer have to swipe endlessly in a direction or another to try to find what you're looking for, and the big biggest one, widgets, in their full form that are expandable that you can choose, you can customize, you can drag around. You probably hear the excitement in my voice. Like this is literally something we've been waiting for uh, since I've been making YouTube videos, which has been a number of years now. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's just go ahead and jump in first off with the app library. Now, this is just a glorified list view essentially, but Apple's obviously done some cool stuff here to make it more than just a list view. So when you go into this new view, you're gonna see See, it looks pretty wild. You've got a ton of squares here. They're like big app icons filled with smaller app icons. And then there's even smaller app icons in the bottom right hand corner. And in the top left is suggestions. So these are gonna be Siri powered AI on device suggestions that Apple thinks are gonna be really, really helpful for giving you the info or the context you want right when you need it. Now, obviously we're all fascinated how this algorithm works, but it's cool that Apple's still doing this. I like this a lot because especially if you're somebody that does have a few app pages, it's gonna take you way less time to find what you want. And that combined with some AI suggestions is gonna help you get to the app right away, rather than having to search or swipe and waste some time. I'm really impressed with the way that this looks. Uh, it's fantastic. By the way, I'll leave a link to the wallpaper down below for iOS 14 if you wanna download it and you're not on iOS 14 yet. I've got it over on my site. The blur folder stacked UI here. It's a good separation from the home screen and it really does make the iPhone feel new. In fact, if Apple just did this, I'd say, hey, that's pretty cool, right? But Apple didn't just do something cool. Uh, they really fundamentally changed the way that information is displayed on the home screen because they said, you know, back in 2015, when we first introduced widgets on the home screen, things have significantly changed since then. So what if we gave you a way to view more information without going inside of apps. So Apple brought widgets for the first time ever to the iPhone home screen. And not just widgets as in they made it happen. There are different sizes you can choose from. You can drag them around. Essentially, your entire home screen can finally look like you want it to look, not just a bunch of icons uh, in the mix here. Apple kept using the word data rich. These are so data rich. I mean, I think that's just another word for saying that these look really, really good. Uh, drop a like for these down below. I wanna hear your thoughts as well in the comment section. I mean, I meant it when I said we were waiting on these and it has been well worth the wait. That's the one thing I'll say about Apple here is while they take a while to get around to things sometimes, it usually pays off because the integration with first party apps already is just out of this world. Getting started with them is really easy. You just tap on one of the app icons and then try to edit your home screen like normal. And then you can tap on the plus icon in the top left. So done on the top right whenever you're done and then plus in the top left get this really, really good looking picker. Uh, like I mentioned, like every single part of the interface here has been touched. If the word rushed was used to describe this, I would be disappointed because that's not at all what it feels like. You can then drag something in here and you'll see there are a load of customization options, including that I can't believe Apple even let us do this, the size, you can actually adjust the size of widgets. What? And Apple's got a special widget here you can put on the home screen called the Smart Stack, where you essentially vertically swipe up and down to get access to different things that Apple will recommend. We were talking about AI earlier. This will change like news in the morning or weather in the afternoon or potentially another app whenever you're walking out of the house or just getting home from work. You can really, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you other than like they they did it. They, they did what we wanted and it really looks fantastic guys it looks fantastic let me know your thoughts on this down below because this is the biggest change of the three like we're getting a picture in picture next and the list view is cool but like we thought this was going to be delayed for a year or two down the road we didn't know it was actually coming and wow you guys gotta try it that's all i can say it is so so cool now what's sexier than this feature well privacy and staying safe while online all right i've been working with nordvpn for years now and i keep going back because i i myself like to not have people looking into my business. You know, that's just something I'm not into. NordVPN
VPN helps you with so much more than that though. For example, if there's a show that's not available in your country on Netflix or any of the streaming services, you can use NordVPN to gain access to content you don't have in your native region. And there is no bandwidth restriction. So you can browse as much as you want. I've seen a lot of others. It's like you get slowed down, the connection is unreliable. This is great. And I, I cannot tell you how much of a good experience I've had to the point where I use this almost on a daily basis now. You guys can get 70% off a three year plan for only $3.49 a month plus eight an additional month for free over at nordvpn.com slash I update. Guys, get started today, start staying safer and protect that iPhone that might be running iOS 14 now. And then Apple was like, yeah, but what if we also added another feature on top of that that Android has had? You know, because a lot of these, let's be honest here, they have been on the Android operating system for a while, but I can't complain because hey, when I'm seeing picture in picture video natively on the iPhone that is gonna work when you're in a face time call they can be swiped off the display to the left just like this and you can still hear the audio without interrupting what you're doing I mean honestly that's like that's pretty cool now the big question for all of us right is YouTube is YouTube coming is YouTube supported I don't know right now I'm making this literally minutes after Apple's announced it so I have a feeling YouTube will probably be able to integrate their app and update it although it'll oh, but it'll be a YouTube premium feature just because you know they sort of allow background play with that already but Apple didn't announce any launch partners. They just simply said, if you're watching like an Apple TV Plus show, because you know, everybody loves Apple TV Plus, that on the iPhone now, you can drag this around. And it's been on the iPad forever. It's about time it came to the iPhone. So that is a look at the new home screen. Tons and tons of other content coming out on iOS 14 on Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference event later today. So subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, drop a like to help support the channel. I've been Sam, hope you guys are doing well. And hey, I will catch you in my next video. Today's been a great day.